praying for me for so long because I said, God don't call folk that's doing what I'm doing. I was getting high seven days a week. I said, God don't call folk getting high. Now, I was coming to church every Sunday. Had a joint in the ashtray. So when I left church, I... God was calling me into the ministry, and I was still getting high seven days a week and enjoying every joint. <laughs> See, some folks can tell you, you don't need to do that kind of stuff. Sin is fun. I had a whole lot of fun sinning. Thank you. And you might not enjoy your sin, but I sure enjoyed mine. And I didn't want to let it go. Now I can remember just as well when God called me to the ministry. I said, okay, Lord. I said, I'm, I'm going to stop getting high. Then. If you want me to preach, I'm going to stop getting high. So I'll stop for a week. Start back for a week. Stop for a week. Start back for a week. Stop for two weeks. Go back for two weeks. This went on for about eight to ten months. Just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then one day I just went in the bedroom by myself, shut the door. I got down on my knees and said, Lord, if you want me to preach, you got to help me with this. I said, I can't do this by myself. See, I found out as long as I was saying I was going to stop. I was saying what I was going to do. I was saying I was going to straighten me up. I was going to clean me up. As long as I was in charge of it, God left it alone. But once I said, God, I, I can't stop this. I thought I could, but I can't. And it seemed like about three weeks later, I was driving up Fraser Boulevard. And the Lord put a thought in my mind, you ain't been high in three weeks. And you know, I don't even remember when I stopped. Because see, one of the things about it is, I kept saying, how am I going to enjoy life not getting high? How, I kept thinking, how am I going to have fun not getting high? We think about what we got to give up. Don't worry about what you got to give up. Just come on in. See, that's what we got to get over to the young folks. Don't worry about what you're doing. Don't worry about what you got to give up. You just come on in the house. Bring them to church. Because, see, I found out sanctification is the work of the Holy Ghost done in you. It's his job to clean you up. He'll clean you up. The Bible makes that clear. Let's see what uh, Ephesians says down in 5, 25, 26. Let's read those verses. Husband, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it. Now here we go. How? With the washing of water by the word. The more you hear the word, see, it's the word that cleans you up. There's nothing I can do to clean nobody up. The word cleans you up. Jesus told his disciple one day, said, ye are clean through the word. I guarantee you, if you just keep hearing the word, and just keep hearing the word, and just keep hearing the word, I declare the word going to get in you. See, when I first came in the morning, you and I was getting high, I sat back down the last row. Kept my mouth shut. Didn't claim to be nothing. But I came to church. And I sat on that last row back there. Every Sunday. But I kept coming. Sometimes we get in at 5 o'clock from being out all night. I still came to church. Sat right down that last row back here where Candace is sitting. But I kept hearing the word. After a while I moved up here. I kept hearing the word. After a while, I moved on up a little further. I kept hearing the word. After a while, I moved on up to the front. Kept hearing the word. And then one day, I got up out of my seat. You just tell folk to come on in. Stop trying to clean them up before they get here. 
Just invite them. Don't even deal with what they're doing. It ain't your job to clean nobody up. It's the Holy Ghost's job to clean folk up. Our job is just to love them into the house. Just to love them into the building. Yeah, their lifestyle might be different from yours. That's all right. I love gay folk. I don't love their lifestyle, but I love them. I don't love what they're doing, but I sure love them.